Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Rise of the Ronin. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue the side quests in search of new discoveries. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Wrong guy. Over here. Ah, good to see you. Sorry about our uh, chat in Yoshiwara. I did mention I had something else to share with you, I believe. It's about my tuberculosis research, as you might have guessed. My time in America has taught me many things. Among them was a striking new theory that disease is caused by the presence of organisms so small they are invisible to the human eye. I remember Sawamura said there are poisons able to counteract others. If these organisms cause tuberculosis, what if we could poison them? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, have you too been entranced by Mr. Fukuzawa's grand hypothesis? Mr. Fortune is an expert in poisonous plants. I asked him to assist in looking into my theory. I'm afraid I have bad news on that front. I scoured my many books on the subject, but was unable to identify any plants that might suit your needs. Ah, that's a pity. Thank you for trying. I did, however, stumbled upon an interesting piece of local folklore. Did you know that the bamboo here produces small golden flowers only once every 120 years? When this happens, it releases a toxin-like substance from its roots. They say that an alchemist once used these toxins to cure a pulmonary disease. That sounds rather hard to believe. What do you think? Yeah, I don't believe it, but it might be worth investigating nonetheless. Yes, I agree. You know, I heard the bamboo at Ryusenji Temple is currently flowering. I think I just might go there. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. I would be very glad if you decide to join me. Do come if you can. Oh, he's super far away. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, I must be the bearer of bad news. I was turned away by the temple guard. He is on watch for burglars, apparently. Those bamboo flowers supposedly fetch a great sum on the market. If someone makes off with them, I won't know where to look for those toxins. I didn't know there was a market for bamboo flowers. They're actually considered unlucky, but collectors do have unusual tastes. Is it time for us to sneak in and uh, borrow some more? I suppose we have little choice. This is our only chance. Who knows when the next bamboo tree will flower? Surely the temple won't mind if I just gather the soil from around the tree. Now, if Mr. Fortune's right, we just have to look for those small golden flowers. So, 
Shall we make our way into the temple? I'm ready when you are. Ah, I must insist beforehand. Under no circumstances should you kill anyone. I can never stand for causing death in the pursuit of preserving life. Come on then. We should move when we will not be seen. Okay, so that means we need to take off that right there. So far, so good. A beautiful specimen, but no flowers to be seen. Still, the bamboo in Meguro is remarkable. I'll hold on to some for now. Grab this treasure chest. Sneak up behind this guy. Silence as a shadow. There's a couple of them. Just need one more formidable foe. Oh. There are no blossoms here either. Let's look elsewhere. Don't pay attention to me. Never saw it coming. I think we need to go over there. That'll probably produce some flowers. There's another formidable foe. Or it not produce flowers, but be the flowers that we're looking for. Oh, he's going to be kind of difficult. No! 
is quite difficult. Silence as a shadow. Oh, oops. Where's this other bamboo flower? How dare you make light of me? Who do you think you are? This lady again. I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> All right, you blasphemous <laughs> vandals. Allow me to administer <laughs> your last. Right! Venerable <laughs> sir, please hear us out. In the way. So small. What? Hold your tongue, boy. I don't give a damn. Now prepare yourself. Oh. So we meet again. It seems we must work together. Oh, holy shit. Damn it. <laughs> I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> what is he, a pro wrestler, man? <laughs> Not bad. Even I felt that last one. Venerable sir, please be calm yourself. It's not the bamboo blossoms we want. Hmm. You don't seem like ordinary burgers. What is your business here? <laughs> My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a scholar of medicine. Can I take some soil from around that tree? For, for medical purposes, of course. I would have beaten you brack and brew if you were another one after those flowers. But it's the soil you want. Ha <laughs> ha! Take what you need. We did it. And without spilling any blood. Who gave you the idea to use the soil for medical purposes? That would be Mr. Robert Fortune. Huh. Of course he did. <laughs> He's a sharp one. Kindly, give me some of that soil. I... I'm not sure I should. Should we give some to her and have her tell us more? She helped us in the battle. I think she deserves a little bit of compensation. Thank you. I believe this soil might hold the key to a cure for tuberculosis. And I'm not about to lose more of my soldiers to that foul disease. There she goes. She seemed certain that this soil is the key. Could we really be closer to curing tuberculosis? Doubt breeds nothing. Faith breeds the God's blessing. So says one of our teachings. Go forward with an unclouded heart. As you say, I must have faith. There is no time to waste. I will begin studying the soil at once. I will produce results. You'll see. I will make my mark on our country. No, on the entire medical field. Just watch.
go pet the dog over here. <laughs> and then we'll go over to our equipment. Yeah, it's not better than the one we already have. Well, I mean, it's not even close to the level of the one we already have, so... Anything new? No. Oh, let's do these fugitives real quick. Is there a particular time we need to be? Nope. Just need to take them down. That's it. Looks like one. Oh, they're both in the temple. If. Well, that was super easy. Next mission. Oh, I did do the dojo off recording. All I had to do is beat one opponent and that was it. I guess we'll do this first and then we'll go to a prize beyond reach. I'm sorry for bothering you, but I have a favor to ask. Won't you hear me out? Sure, why not? I'm an instructor at another dojo, you see. And the other day, I saw one of my students cut down a stranger on the street. I confronted him and tried to mete out his punishment, but I couldn't bring myself to finish it. And he escaped. If I face my student again, I fear I'll hesitate again. I can't trust myself to stop him. Please, won't you do it in my stead? I suppose I can help you. Thank you. My student has gotten a taste for blood and will keep on killing. We have no choice but to put him to death. Uh, maybe we go to this banner? Sent you. 
Wait! Don't kill me! My master asked you to come, didn't he? If only you'd seen how he laughed as he killed other senior disciples. He must know that I saw him. And now he intends to kill me too. But I cannot die until I have avenged my brothers. Hmm. Yeah, this does seem like an interesting quest here. Who's telling the truth? I wonder if we're going to have to choose on who to kill. How the hell you get into this dojo? Ah, you're back! Safe and sound! You've done it then. Tended to my student. You lied to me, didn't you? What are you talking about? Did you deal with my student or didn't you? Sure, I took care of him. So you did! So you did! Do you have proof of the deed? By any chance? It would set my mind at ease if there was something I could see. You're the killer, aren't you? You've heard everything from him, it seems. Why? Oh, why couldn't you just do the deed? Fine. I'll just kill him myself. It's more enjoyable that way. And I'll become stronger for it. But first things first. I'll amuse myself by killing you. You know too much. For me to let you live. Next mission. Is a prize beyond reach. Oh, also. Before I forget. I wonder if he's still over here. I had traveled to the longhouse. And the Scottish guy was over here. Yes, right here. Hello. How good of you to come. Hello there. I've got something I wanted to run by you. The Japanese people possess a most laudable love for the natural world. Be that as it may, many of them have never grown a plant themselves, you included. Is that not a great pity? I certainly think so. But then, Eureka, I thought. You should start your own little garden. How do I do that? You're overthinking things. Better to learn by doing, I always say. Just start with something simple and experiment. Why, if you prove to have a green thumb, you'll never have to forage for plants again. Sure, I'll do it. Sounds like fun. That's what I like to hear. Good thing, too, since I already went ahead and made some preparations behind your house. 
I look forward to seeing what kind of plants you decide to grow. Cool. Let's go behind here and see if... Oh, I think we actually... No, okay. Well, I guess we can't pick them. Yeah, we're just destroying the plant. Sorry. Oops. Now let's go do the prize out of reach. How do you do? Or beyond reach, not out of reach. Hello there. You know, I, I realize I've asked plenty of you in the past, but uh, there's a certain matter I'd rather like your help with. It's uh, a bit of a sensitive matter, if you know what I mean. That is to say, I... I've fallen in love with someone at first sight. I have to woo this wonderful woman. Do you... do you think you could help me? I suppose I can help you. What kind of woman is she? Oh, thank you. She's... well, her beauty escapes words. Frankly, I've only seen her from afar a few times, but she has already won my heart. I just need a good way to approach her. I'm afraid I'm far more familiar with handling plants than I am women. Have you tried asking her out on a date? A fine thought, but uh, she barely knows me. I'm not sure she'd begin a courtship with a complete stranger. Have you tried giving her a gift then? Hmm. Yes. Surely nobody takes offense at receiving a gift. But, uh, what should I give her? Have you tried to be honest about how you feel towards her? I don't know if I have the courage. Maybe if I could show her how I feel without needing to say a word. Ah, uh, I know. Show her how much money you've got. Well, I uh, suppose I've made a fair amount gathering tea plants, but it feels... Rather wrong to be buying somebody's love. Well, I can't disagree with you on that. So what do you want to do? <sighs> A good question. Aha! I've got it! What if I gave her a beautiful flower? An appropriate gesture, given my interests, is it not? I think that's a great idea. Then it's settled. In fact, just the other day, I spotted a remarkable bloom in the forest near Ichigaya Hachiman. A beauty befitting my beauty. Ah, but uh, I don't want to risk being attacked again. I hate to ask, but um, do you think you could retrieve the flower for me? Oh, holy moly, that's super far.
Morning glory type flower. <laughs> so we meet again. So we meet again. Clearly, Clearly, I'm no match for your strength. strength. So I'll just I'll have to just make, have use, to make of it. use of it. My name is Alexandria Moreau. Alexandria Moreau. Seeing as we are not total strangers, let us get down to business. Naturally, I will have you answer my questions in full honesty. To start, please identify yourself. I'm a veiled edge who has lost their blade twin. I see. You do seem rather lonely, don't you? <laughs> now then. Where might I find might Robert, I Fortune? Robert Fortune? At the Botanical Garden. Well, well after all I did, all did to I make him, make him, suffer. him suffer. I'm rather surprised, I'm rather surprised he didn't surprised run away didn't or hide. hide. <laughs> the foolish man. However, However I, suppose I suppose it simplifies, it simplifies things, things somewhat. somewhat. I shall have I you shall have bring you him to me. Him to As you wish. There we go. Help me get what I desire, and you shall be rewarded. You were gathering morning glories earlier, no? That is a special flower. I want you to serve it to Mr. Fortune in a tea. Once he's consumed it, he should follow your every order. After that, you are to bring him to the abandoned plot of land by Denzoin Temple. Understood. Understood. Good. Good. Then I'll leave the then matter, leave to, the you. matter to you. How can I help you today? I brought you some rare tea. That's very kind of you. Although I'm, I'm not quite sure I can accept it. I'm in your debt enough as it is. Then again, I would hate to refuse your generous invitation. Oh, what should I do? I think you should enjoy it. Right. If you insist. <laughs> Verily, tea is a wonderful thing. It has no borders and is something the British and Japanese can enjoy alike. Of course, I enjoy the odd cup of sake also, but there are so many who wreck their lives with it, don't you think? Anyway, this tea, it tastes a little funny, no? Are you leaving? About time I go out too. So, shall we go look for a wonderful flower garden? To think that I came all the way to Japan just to be housebound by bloody expulsionists. Hopefully we're not doing something really bad. This guy doesn't seem bad. Sure, he looks like a it's bearded Jay Leno. Quick, we must save him! like you with me ah I feel great it must be the tea what kind of leaves were they oh, yeah. give it back to us oh. don't try anything funny 
must be nearby. He is tripping his ass off right now. So, the reports were true. I'd heard you were working with that woman. Ah! Hey! Uh! A monster in the shape of a girl! <laughs> oh! Yeah, man, I'm getting my ass kicked. your head with but hand Robert over at once No, don't heal yourself, bastard. I have a feeling that this is the start of a beautiful relationship. It was an honor, I guess. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Till next time. So, did we break the other quest? I mean, I guess not. <laughs> it's really weird. It took us out of one quest and put us into another quest. So, do we just come back here? <sighs>
Shit. Leave me alone. Don't want to fight you, boar. Trying to let you guys live. Live and let live, right? Get out of battle real fast. the flower I had in mind. Thank you. Words cannot express my gratitude, my friend. The Belladonna Lily. Its name means beautiful lady, you know. A perfect match for my beloved. Ah, yes. Another friend of mine has agreed to help me with my fateful proclamation. Let me introduce you. Ah, so this is your talented friend. We will be having none of your devilry this time, correct? Oh, already met Rutherford, have you? I owe my talented friend my very life. I'd trust them with it and more. Now, since we've got the flower in hand, we just need to present it to her. She's a geisha in the Yoshiwara district. She goes by Miss Usugumo. Oh, I know her. Then you are already familiar with her resplendent beauty. That makes things all the easier. Well, shall we make way for Yoshiwara to meet Usugumo? Sure. I appreciate your support. Oh, I'm so nervous and excited my heart could beat right out of my chest. Come, let's find Usugumo. Oh, I'm so nervous my head is spinning. I dare say your nerves speak to the strength of your feelings. It surely won't be lost upon your lady. Right, we've arrived. Ah, oh, how lovely to see you. And so many of you today. It is lovely to see you as always. Words cannot express how grateful I am for your help. With my cats. Uh, 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 how do you know her exactly? Is something the matter? I certainly hope we can become friends. Now, what brings you to Yoshiwara today? This man here has something to tell you. Yes, I, uh, ever since I first saw you, I wanted to tell you, uh, ah, here, a, a token of my admiration. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Is this a gift for me? Hmm, your gesture means ever so much. I shall never forget it, not even when this flower has withered and died. Here I thought I'd pay my Usugumo a visit. Didn't think I'd have to put up with her foolish customers, too. Who the hell gives a girl a dumb flower? How dare you? Miss Usugumo will not fraternize with the likes of you. Leave us at once. 
savages everywhere. You. Isn't this what you're here for? Just don't outright kill the man, hear me? I'm not about to get on the wrong side of the law. You wanna have a go? All right, you asked for it. I was not ready for a fight. God, this is like a horrible ring to be fighting in. I can't really make out what the hell he's doing with the camera so close to the walls. Problematic in the past, but your talents were evident as ever. You two should continue your conversation. Don't mind me. That we should. <laughs> you are very thoughtful when it comes to your friends, I see. <clears throat> I am truly glad that the flower was to your liking. I never got to introduce myself. My name is Robert Fortune. There are many beautiful flowers in the world that nearly rival your beauty. If you were to wish it, I would gladly give you every last one of them. I cannot imagine anything more wonderful. I promise to be here awaiting you. I never knew such beautiful flowers could grow outside Yoshiwara. I hope you will be so kind as to show me more. Well, I must thank you all for today. I hope we will get to know one another over a little drink in the near future. Until next time. Hello. Oh, things are proceeding well with Miss Usugumu, thanks to you. Every flower I bring her thrills her to no end. And yet, flowers can only do so much. She likens herself to a bird, you know. A bird trapped in a cage. And so I have decided I will free her from the Yoshiwara. I will need plenty of money, far more than I currently have, to do so. I will simply have to keep gathering flowers and make as much money as I can. I'm counting on your patronage. Come to me for all your botanical needs. <laughs> Okay, just making sure that it didn't take off my um, sword from fighting that guy. Man, all these pop-ups are going crazy. We got a level. Let's go to the top here. 
so many side quests. Where is this at? Over here? We might have enough time to do this one. Let's go over here and see if we can't knock this last side quest out. That way we can get back to the main quest. Finish that one up. I think we only have one more thing to do in the main quest. Can I not get out of here? Thank you very much for the other day. I was just saying I acquired some lemons recently. A gift from Mr. Fortune. Thanks to him, I was able to give some lemon juice to my patients. A spot of lemon juice isn't going to cure their cholera. It restores some of the waters I've lost. Nothing more. Right. Finding a cure is still our highest priority, and I've been searching high and low for any leads at all. But so far. Since you're at a dead end. I am. As much as I hate to admit it. We simply don't have enough data. If I could just get my hands on some Western medical texts, I might learn something new. In that case, why not try our luck at the British Regation? What? Why there? Odio, you can't be suggesting. Okay, technically we'd be steering. But do we have a choice? Dr. Ine seems prepared to do what it takes. So I heard some rumors while I was locked up. Something about a shogunate official with a collection of books seized from the Westerners. And all of those seized texts are at the British Legation, since they keep all seized goods there. Even though they're still rebuilding from that fire. The British Legation? <laughs> I can't imagine requesting a text officially would work either. Well, if this is the only hope we've got, then I'm in. How about you? Will you help us? Yeah, I suppose I can take a moment to help you. I am grateful, and I will repay you. Now, shall we be on our way? I know it's a lot to ask. But please try to avoid bloodshed. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That is not what I was trying to do. How the hell did we get over there? Guessing we gotta blow something up. And we'll take our weapon off. Up top there. It's like on the outside. Hmm. 
some manner of medicine. Let's take it back for Dr. Narasaki to examine. Ugokuna! Oh, damn it. This guy keeps shooting me. Tough ass dude. This video might run a little long, but we'll just finish up this quest and then we'll cut the video. Useful information. Awesome. Found the last piece. The plant in this illustration. Uh, a night from somewhere. It could well be connected to a cholera treatment. I'm curious what else <coughs> there might be. <sighs> but this is plenty for now. Come. Let's get out of here. I agree. Let's get the hell up out of here. Uh, I don't think we can get out this way. I think we gotta backtrack a little bit. Probably gonna have to fight one more person as we come out. It's just up ahead. Exactly. Hmm. Can't say I'm impressed with your thieving skills. Ah, I was just thinking I could use some entertainment. I'm so bored I nearly dozed off a minute ago. Guards, 
They must have been watching us all along. Go hide yourself. All right. Please, be careful. Take you out. Think you can take us on all by yourself? I'm impressed. Looks for me. Do me a favor. And at least put up a good fight. Let's take this guy we down first. This place, and we will do no less. Prepare yourself. Very well. If you insist on forcing our hand. Oh my god. Take this. What is this smoke? She's helping me. I was really rather worried for a moment back there. But it looks like we've made some progress at last. Thank you for avoiding unnecessary bloodshed. I knew I was right to place my trust in you. It isn't much, but here, a token of my appreciation. Damn fools, the two of you. A doctor running around nearly getting herself killed. What has the world come to? Oh, right. I took a closer look at what the two of you brought back. I think it might be Sincona Bark, an effective natural remedy for fever. Can you use it to treat the cholera? You can use Sincona Bark to create something called quinine. I've heard quinine can keep some of the symptoms of cholera under control. I was at a complete loss before. But I think this is our way forward. We have to try it. Quinine is a potent medicine, but that makes it all the more dangerous. If we are not careful, our patients will only suffer more. Then we just have to make sure we're careful. If there's the slightest hope of lessening their pain, we have to seize the opportunity. The books we brought back will likely have information we can use. I'm sure there's something we can do. Let me assist you, Dr. Ine. I've never seen medical documents like this, ever. Certainly not in Japan. My father and I will do whatever it takes to get through them. Thank you. Both of you. I hope I can count on your help, too. <laughs> it might make all the difference in saving another life. Didn't take too long finishing up that side quest, thankfully. Let's see, we'll put on the main mission and I think we'll end right here. That way when we come back, oh, we need to strengthen the bond with her. Maybe we'll end up doing this side mission as well. And I will strengthen the bond with uh kusumoto i think her name is i can't pronounce names very well i am trashed here at it 
I'll go ahead and strengthen her bond so that when we come back, we can finish up that side quest and then move on to the main quest. I know that this video was filled with just side questing, but I like to try to get side quests out of the way so we don't miss them or fail them or anything like that as we continue on the main story. So with all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.